What's up my boss babies? I decided to do my nails today and I decided to share the tea on how I be doing my nails for the low at home. So today we're at Target and I went ahead and picked up some Kiss Nails. Now this isn't a sponsored video. This is what I do on the low when I don't have time to go to the nail salon. Now they have so many different styles. You can get coffin, you can get round, you can get you know square, short, long, medium. There are so many different designs and it's just a huge, huge, huge selection here. So I went with these and these are like my go-to. Now normally I go with a longer length, but if you're looking for something that's going to last longer and you are like less likely to pop off super quick, I would go with something on the shorter end. Now before I go ahead and start, I'm going to clip my own nails and just kind of clean them up a little bit. Make sure that your nails are clean, they're clipped and all that and there's no oil. Now when you open up your package you get your nails. You also will get like a little bag that has like your nail file, um, this little wooden stick that you usually use to like clean up your nails and kind of work with the actual glue and stuff. And then of course you get some instructions. You can throw that out because I'm here to instruct you right away. So on the low I was sitting here kind of cleaning out my nails and making sure they were clean. Again I went ahead and clipped them down super short so they weren't like long and scraggly. Now we're going to go to one of the most important steps and that's going to be to go ahead and find your size. So usually these packages come with I would say about maybe 20 to 25 um, individual nails. We obviously only have 10 but they want to make sure that you're able to find your perfect fit. So go ahead and find 10 nails that will work perfect for you. Now all of the nails are going to be numbered on the back no matter what brand you go with. So I just go ahead and I just pick around till I find one that fits. And this one here you can see is clearly way too big. So I'm going to just put it in the pile of ones that I know I'm not going to need. This one fits right in the crevice of my nail. Super good. Now these nails are just a general you know, size. So you definitely can go ahead and file each nail down to be your liking. As you can see that one was way too big. So I kind of just cancel it out like process of elimination and just put it into that no go pile. And this one here fits pretty perfect. Again, if you find one that fits perfect but just one of the edges is maybe a little bit too big, you can go ahead and file them down and clip them down so that like, they're like literally your perfect shape. And then once you find your perfect um, size in a nail, you just kind of flip it over and see what the number is and you find the matching number. Each one that you find has a match. So finally we have the home stretch with the pinky nail. This one seems to be good to go so we're going to go ahead and find the mate. Or maybe that one wasn't good enough. But you can see here that these nails are going to be super natural. Sometimes I'll go with the coffin. Sometimes I'll just go a little bit longer and go like square longer. I do different styles. But this is a great way to go ahead and prepare for an event. Now this package did come with two different options for glue. It came with like these little... Um, I guess you would call them like tape or not sure what you would call it but there's like stickers in a way now if I was gonna be putting this on like my these nails like on my 10 year old kid or like a middle school kid for like a one day Halloween costume or something like that I would use this but you can see here that it doesn't really stick that well and you can see even though this one is specifically too big for my nail you can still see how bulky it is on the nail um, granted it's not the right size but this is just going to fit bulky on the nail and make the nails just look thick and big and bulky so I'm going to go ahead and throw that out and this is the glue that the um, nails come with now I always use this glue and it works amazing but today I had the bright idea to go ahead and use this here and this is going to be my Gorilla, the Gorilla Glue I believe it's called um, and this one I found at my local Target what I love about this is that it has a brush so you can kind of paint it on and it is like a super glue but it has two ways to do it so you can literally use the brush and paint it or you can use the other cap to take off and you can drop it you know like an eyedropper so this is the one I'm going to be using today I highly recommend the glue that comes with the um, the actual nails but I just wanted to try something differently ultimately um, since I've been using this ultimately I will say that they work pretty much the same so don't feel the need to go out and buy something special just stick to what comes with your nails so my next step is going to be just to go ahead and file my nails if you're wearing your nails out you'd want to buff them and make them smooth but if you're going to add acrylics you're going to want to go ahead and like file them or sand them I'm not sure what this technique is called but you kind of just want to make them rough and like you know 
jagged and this is what's going to help the nails to attach again make sure there's no oil no residue from old nails on your nails um, make sure that they're clean and that's going to help to have a last a long lasting application now i just went ahead and put a piece of paper down so that i can protect my surface i went ahead and easily brushed it on if you are going to use the the glue that comes with it it kind of comes out like in drops i would just drop a few drops on there and kind of just go ahead and press the nail down you want to press and hold the nail down for at least a good 10 seconds and voila my nails look like i just left the salon really love this natural look it's very glittery and, you know, festive, perfect for the holidays if you just need something quick for, you know, Thanksgiving or something like that. I highly recommend that these, since these are press-ons, that once you apply them, go ahead and put the rest of the glue like in a sandwich bag or something like that and pop it in your purse because trust me, you may go days and days and days and days with them looking flawless, but after maybe about day five or six, you can be on the lookout for one of them to possibly pop off especially for me because I'm very heavy-handed and I use my hands a lot um, and kind of judge it based on how anything else lasts in your hands like if you're the type of person that can get your nails done and they don't break from the salon then this is gonna last a little bit longer for you I personally find that every time I get my nails done at least one breaks before the two weeks is up so for me I'm a little bit again more heavy-handed so I like to keep the glue in my purse so that way when one pops off you literally just add um, a little bit more glue and you can pop it right on no problem at all but normally I like to get a good two weeks of wear out of them and it usually will last again one or two will pop off here and there i put it back on and then they'll continue to proceed but this is just a great way to you know make yourself look done up if you don't normally get your nails done and you just want them done for the holidays it's something you can do at home without having to go in the salon all the time and i am very pleased with the way these look also, I like to do the short ones sometimes because I find with the longer ones, um, the length makes them pop off a little bit easier, whereas the short ones just last a little bit longer. You guys can see how boyish my nails look without them. So I like to just have something on my nails at all times, and that's why I like these. Especially with my little ones, I don't ever, ever have the desire to go to the nail shop with my kids unless I'm getting pedicures with hubby. Um, but when it comes to my nails, like it's literally impossible to have either of them with me and try to get my nails done so this is just a quick solution when I want to film and just have my nails look pretty or again events date nights and it's very simple you don't really have to be an expert there's no special you know technique um it will um, make your nails a little bit more jagged you guys seen how I kind of like used the um, nail file to kind of sand the nails that's pretty much the most damage you'll get obviously you're putting glue on it so um, after this I would just do like a nice nail treatment and like kind of buff your nails and clean them and put some you know oil on them and they'll be good as new but this is definitely less damage than your um, traditional you know acrylic and all of that it's not gonna thin your nails out as much after you're done you can take your file and go ahead and like custom fit them by filing them um, you know to perfectly fit around your hands and we are done this is a process that takes less than 10 minutes and you are good to go now my nails don't look so boyish and you know it was about $7.99 for the pack I'll try to leave them down below super simple and easy again you don't have to use the Gorilla Snot or the Gorilla Glue um, I like to go ahead and add a little bit of oil to my hand just a quick coconut oil some baby oil whatever you have and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Also, I keep um, my Sesh Vite as a top coat. I also like to keep like a silver glitter and a gold glitter nail polish in my drawers. I like to paint Dakota's toes with the silver one. And then, you know, if you want to paint your toes to match, you can do that or a white. But I just find that with silver and gold, it never goes wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.